Hi guys, me Saruto here, and I will be making a video of what if Naruto and Sasuke fused Saruto Ujiha, and I hope you'll all enjoy because there will be several parts. The next few will be them at time skipping into the future and going back in time. Without further ado, let's get to the video. First, we start off whenever it just comes to the tuning exams part 2 in the forest of death. Now, basically, they're fighting Orochimaru, but instead of him putting the five prong seal on Naruto and knocking Sasuke out, he decides to test his new invention with the earrings that he made which fused two people together and he has never tried it before and he immediately captures them and Sakura is left alone. She immediately shouts out, Where did Naruto and Sasuke go? What have you done with them? As Orochimaru just says, Ah, but I have just not created anybody. Yeah, and Sakura is just like, what do you mean, create? There will no longer be a Naruto or Sasuke in this world. Inner Sakura is just immediately like, No, he'll never get his hands on my Sasuke. Never. And not Naruto either. Orochimaru says, Ha. We'll just see about that. Three days later in the forest of death, Sakura finds out where Orochimaru is hiding. And then she immediately attacks him, but she just immediately gets knocked out with ease. And then she sees someone standing above her when she wakes up with black hair, a headband like Konoha a headband, and blue eyes, and these earrings. And it's just like the one in the thumbnail right here. And... She's like, who are you? And basically Naruto and Sasuke's voices just come on out to all saying, it's me. One voice shouts out Naruto, the other one shouts out Sasuke. And that was whenever both of the voices are her just Naruto's and Sasuke's fused up like their bodies are. And she's like, wait a second, Sasuke, Naruto? And that was whenever they're just like, eh, we need help. And they're just explaining all like, that guy fused us with these weird earrings. Now we're one. And uh, Sakura just is all shocked with the story. And then like the, after the next day, on day four, which that does not happen, Ino Im immediately spots them along with Shikamaru and Choji, and she's all like uh, immediately shouting for them to come here, and she shouts out, Shikamaru, Choji, come here! What is it, Ino? Yeah, what is it, Ino? Who is that guy that Sakura's with? Where are Naruto and Sasuke? And they immediately launch an attack on Sakura and Saruto. And uh, Saruto immediately blocks the attacks. And uh, she immediately asks uh, Sakura where Naruto and Sasuke went. And then that was whenever Saruto would reply, It's me! And then Shikamaru immediately says, What do you mean, it's me? We don't know who you are. And then he immediately has the same thing happen, where they're just shouting out, Naruto and Sasuke, and Choji immediately points out, that sounds like Naruto, but it also sounds like Sasuke. And Shikamaru and Ino just agree immediately, and Sakura and Saruto tell the complete story, and they're just in shock on of what happened and uh, especially Eno because now she's just all like I love uh, Sasuke 
Yep, yeah, but uh, now I've got to Naruto with him. So, do I have a crush on Naruto and Sasuke? No. And basically, Sakura just immediately points out that there is no Naruto and Sasuke in the world, but there is only Saruto. And so basically, they immediately had their teams team up with each other, and they both use their scrolls, because they never stated that they couldn't. They both have uh, one scroll on both of their teams, and that's whenever where they get back and they see Iruka and also Asuma. They explain everything, and they're just in utter shock, as everyone would be. When they tell Kakashi, he's just dumbstruck. He's like, what? And that was all of a sudden that whenever they would get to the round with Kiba and Akamaru. And Kiba's all like, Heh, I bet I could beat you, but Sasuke, Naruto, Saruto, whoever you are. And immediately, yeah, Saruto just immediately summons... 100 clones and shouts, Fire style! Fireball Shitsu! And Kiba immediately gets on the wall and then he immediately he shouts out, Lion's Barrage! And knocking him up in the air of clones and immediately slamming him towards the ground along with Akamaru knocking him out. And that was whenever the match was over. And basically, they were allowed to rest, and the Naruto have would just want to rest for a while. And uh, not only that, but this is whenever he immediately meets uh, Jiraiya, or should I say, Pervy Sage. And that was whenever her, he's just like, What are you doing, peeping? And he's like, What do you mean, peeping, kid? I'm doing research. And Sasuke's half just lists all the horrible things on what this could mean to. And then he immediately throws a kunai into the girl's uh, room. And they immediately run away. And he's like, no, what do you do? You ruined my peeping. I mean my research. And he's all like, well, you should at least give someone some privacy. And that was whenever he's just like, you're a lost kid. And so he soon goes off to check on how Naruto's doing. And that was whenever the third Okage blows his pipe all like, There's nothing I can tell you other than Naruto fusing with Sasuke Ujiya. And that's when Jiraiya immediately notices he was talking to Naruto. And that's whenever Naruto or Saruto, I'm sorry, they he's just walking around the place uh, Thinking of ways for him to get stronger. And that was whenever he decided to go to Kakashi. But that was whenever Jiraiya immediately shows up and he's just all like, Naruto, is that really you? And Saruto just is all like, that's no longer my name. Who do you think you are? Why I've been... Glad to ask, I'm Jiraiya, the legendary Toad Sanin. He's like, really? One of the three? I don't believe in you. And then that's whenever he just immediately proves it by summoning a Toad, and he's like, hmm, really? Okay, what are you gonna teach me? How to summon Toad, of course. And he's like, I want something harder than that on the second point. And he's like, yeah, okay. And first, he teaches them how to summon Gamabunta, which on the second shot, because they obviously would just summon Gamakichi on the first one, considering the fact Gamakichi is the main summoning. And on the second one, they summon Gamabunta. And then on the third week of the month, they are training with Kakashi for Chidori, a thousand birds. And that's who never came to the fight with Gara. And so they immediately start to shout Hing out words. Gara's blabbling all on his mother, wanting their blood. 
And Saruto's just like, we'll see about that. And he shouts up, fire style, fireball jitsu. And Gar Sand immediately blocks. And that was whenever Saruto immediately, he does a, a thousand clones. And they're all using Rasengan. And they immediately do with a big a ball Rasengans. And it just immediately almost obliterates Gara. Just almost to destroying him. To everybody's shock, they're stunned. And that was whenever he's just being cheered for. And Sakura's just like, Cha, way to go! And Inner Sakura's are like, Yeah, way to go, Sasuke! I mean, Saruto! Cha! And that was whenever. Afterward, uh, whenever they were chasing after Gara, he immediately transforms into the Shikaku afterward, and then they summon Gamabunta, and that's whenever they immediately, sooner or later, defeat him by using a headshot, and that was whenever Gara immediately asks why they would protect someone and give up their own life. He states that it's because uh, there are his friends who he wants to keep safe. And that he won't allow anybody like Gara to take that away from him. And uh, that was whenever re he just is all like, uh, love. And so uh, Gara just immediately leaves along with his sibs to the sand village. And... Uh, so basically, everything goes on as planned. The third gets killed by Orochimaru. And so uh, him and Jiraiya yeah, both go uh, and look for Tsunade. And uh, basically, he just tells Saruto to pack, which obviously he lives in the Ujia compound now. And he's just uh, all, like... Uh, talking in his head to Naruto and Sasuke are. And uh, Naruto just says, So Sasuke, yeah, what is it, Naruto? Do you think that this fusion thing was for nothing? Or do you think we should just actually get along more, get to know each other? I don't know. Mary, perhaps it was uh, for something, at least. I'm sorry if I'm getting my words babbled up, but uh, it just has to require me talking the entire time and getting my words mixed up. And that's whenever they immediately pack their bags the next day, they meet Jiraiya, and uh, that's whenever they start the training with the, the Rasengan. And they immediately pass the first stage, and they get to the second one. Two days later, a time skip. That was whenever they immediately just are like, yeah, I've got it. And then, that was whenever on the third day, he performs and perfects their Sangon. Which, uh, here's another fact for y'all. That uh, it took Master Dryer three days as well as Saruto to master Rasengan. And that was whenever Master Dryer is just so, like uh, shocked. And uh, that's whenever they get to the bar and see Sonate. We'll get to that part next time. It's me, Saruto, over and out.